It's always sad when a beloved figure dies, but in the case of the fallen stars on this list, their passing was perhaps even more tragic due to the timing of their deaths. These are just some of the celebrities that 2020 took away from us far too soon. Nick Gordon, Bobby Christina Brown's boyfriend at the time of her own untimely death, died on January 1st, 2020. He was 30 years old. People reported that Gordon overdosed on heroin, while the Daily Mail claimed that Gordon suffered heart attacks in the hours leading up to his death. A month after Bobby Christina's death in 2015, Brown's estate sued Gordon for wrongful death. E! News reporting that he injected her with drugs and placed her in the tub in which she drowned. Gordon, who denied the case's claims, was found legally responsible for Brown's death after failing to meet court deadlines. He struggled with addiction following Brown's death. Rapper Lexi Allagé died at just 21 years old on January 1st, 2020. E! News reported that her death was accidental and was the result of mixed fentanyl and ethanol toxicity. Lynch's mother, Jessica Owen, told the Star Tribune that Lynch was working on a new album and was supposed to head to the studio the day of her passing. Neil Peart, drummer and lyricist of the Canadian progressive rock band Rush, died on January 7, 2020 after a battle with brain cancer. He was 67 years old. Peart had retired from the band in 2018, worried that his health would impact the quality of the band's live performances. I really feel that you're only as good as your last show. <laughs> The famous virtuoso of a drummer had been an international music icon for more than four decades. He is survived by wife Carrie and daughter Olivia. Prolific musician, speaker, and performance artist Genesis Briar Peorage died of leukemia in March 2020 at the age of 70. Born Neil Andrew Megson, the artist founded the influential electronic music band Throbbing Gristle in 1975 and led innovative acts like Psychic TV in the years to follow. In the 90s, Peorage and wife Lady J used plastic surgery to alter their bodies to resemble one another, referring to themselves as a collective entity known as the Pandrogyne until Jay's death in 1997. Peorage is survived by two children. Alexis Eddy, who appeared in MTV reality series Are You the One, was found dead in her West Virginia home on January 9, 2020. She was just 23 years old. Deadline reports cause of death as likely cardiac arrest, but no official cause was immediately revealed. The reality star was open about her struggles with substance abuse, but revealed on Twitter in September 2019 that she and her father were both sober. According to TMZ, the family member who found Eddie believed she was still sober as of the night before her death. Stan Kirsch died on January 11, 2020. He was 51 years old. TMZ reported that Kirsch took his own life. Kirsch was most famous for starring as Richie Ryan on the original Highlander TV series for six seasons. Kirsch also starred in JAG and had memorable roles on General Hospital, Invincible, and Friends. Kobe Bryant died at 41 on January 26, 2020 in a helicopter crash over Calabasas, California. The crash also killed his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, and several other passengers, whom Kobe was reportedly taking to basketball practice. Nine died in total. There were no survivors. Bryant was widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time, winning five NBA championships and being named NBA Finals MVP twice and League MVP in 2008. Kobe Bryant is survived by wife Vanessa. In 2012, Vanessa filed for divorce, but they reconciled in January 2013. Kobe and Gianna are also survived by Bryant's other daughters, Natalia, Bianca, and Capri. I love having girls. Yeah, it, I, it like, suits I love you. It. Yeah, they're awesome, man. And, you know, having a boy, I think my, my wife wants a boy more so than I oh, do. I Nanny McPhee star Raphael Coleman, also known as Iggy Fox, died on February 6, 2020 at just 25 years old. Coleman's stepfather, Karsten Jensen, wrote on Facebook that Coleman passed away after collapsing during a jog. According to his stepfather, the adult Coleman was intensely interested in many pursuits and wanted to become a scientist. Coleman was also a noted climate activist. DJ, music manager, and producer ASAP Snacks, real name Jay Scott, died on February 2, 2020, according to People. No cause of death has been reported. Per Complex, Scott was a member of the ASAP Mob Hip Hop Collective and served as a DJ for its most famous member, ASAP Rocky. Musician Jacob Teal, who played keyboards for indie dance rock outfit The Faint, died on February 13, 2020. He was just 40 years old. No cause of death was immediately revealed. Teal joined the Omaha, Nebraska band in late 1998 and remained a member of The Faint until 2016. Some of the group's most popular works, including 2003's Dance Macabre, featured his contributions. 
British television personality Caroline Flack died of an apparent suicide on February 15, 2020. She was 40 years old. The former host of UK reality shows The X Factor, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here Now, and Love Island, Flack was as famous for personal scandals as she was for her work. She faced backlash for dating then One Direction crooner Harry Styles when he was just 17 years old to her 31, and she also claimed to have had a brief fling with Prince Harry in 2009, which she said ended once the press got wind of the affair. Nikita Pearl Walagwa, who starred in Disney's Queen of Katwa, died on February 15, 2020 after suffering from a brain tumor, BBC News reported. The Ugandan actress was just 15 years old. Walagwa had previously been diagnosed with brain cancer in 2016. The actress was reportedly declared cancer-free in 2017, but in 2019, another tumor was discovered. Jason Davis, who voiced the gentle Mikey Bloomberg on Disney's Recess for years, died on February 16, 2020. A rep for his family confirmed to The Hollywood Reporter. He was 35 years old. Davis's early acting credits included Beverly Hills Ninja, Rush Hour, Seventh Heaven, and Roseanne. He publicly struggled with substance abuse for years, appearing on Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew from 2010 to 2011. Unfortunately, TMZ reports his death was likely due to fentanyl overdose. Actor Nicholas Tucci died of an unspecified illness on March 3, 2020 at the Smilo Cancer Hospital in New Haven, Connecticut, his father announced on Facebook. He was 38 years old. During his life, Tucci performed in theatrical productions and had a noteworthy television and film career, with appearances in series like Pose, Quantico, Homeland, Daredevil, The Blacklist, and Person of Interest. Renowned dancer and So You Think You Can Dance star Danny Tidwell died in a car crash, his husband reported, on March 6, 2020. He was just 35 years old. Tidwell's younger brother was Emmy-nominated dancer and choreographer Travis Wall. The New York Times reports that Tidwell was adopted into Wall's family at age 12. Tidwell finished in second place during the third season of So You Think You Can Dance. Actor Lorenzo Brino died in a car accident on March 9, 2020 in San Bernardino, California, according to TMZ. He was just 21 years old. Brino's only acting credit was one he shared with his quadruplet siblings between 1999 and 2007. He and his brothers rotated in the roles of the Camden family's young twins on Seventh Heaven, with Lorenzo playing Sam. Mark Blum, star of Desperately Seeking Susan, died on March 25, 2020 from complications of the coronavirus, according to a friend who spoke with the New York Times. He was 69 years old. Blum was a New York City theater regular both on and off Broadway. He's also known for his roles in Crocodile Dundee, Shattered Glass, Twelve Angry Men, The Good Wife, The Good Fight, and Netflix's You. Actor John Callahan died on March 27, 2020 from a stroke, People reported. He was 66 years old. Callahan starred as Edmund Gray on All My Children from 1992 to 2005, as well as playing several roles on Days of Our Lives, Falcon Crest, Santa Barbara, a guest-starring role in Desperate Housewives, and numerous other TV credits. Actor Matthew Faber was pronounced dead on March 28, 2020. He was 47 years old, TMZ reported. Faber's death appeared to be natural, sources told the site. Faber appeared in several cult classic films throughout his career, including his best-known role of Mark Wiener in Welcome to the Dollhouse and its sequel, Palindromes, as well as Natural Born Killers, Sue, and Ride with the Devil. His most recent project was The Devil You Know with Rosamund Pike and Jennifer Lawrence in 2013. Joe Diffie, a country singer best known for his song John Deere Green, died on March 29, 2020 from coronavirus complications, TMZ reported. Just days earlier, Diffie revealed his diagnosis on Facebook. Diffie had 18 country top 10 singles and five number one country hits, including Home, If the Devil Danced in Empty Pockets, Third Rock from the Sun, Bigger Than the Beatles, and Pickup Man. He won a Grammy for Same Old Train in 1998. Rapper Pop Smoke was murdered in a home invasion on February 19, 2020. He was just 20 years old. According to TMZ, Pop Smoke, real name Bashar Baraka Jackson, may have unfortunately given away his location to his killers. He posted a photo on Instagram of a Louis Vuitton bag he received as a gift with his address on it, and the same day was in a photo with a friend holding a large stack of bills in the driveway of the property. Just days before his slang, Pop Smoke's mixtape hit number 7 on the Billboard 200, largely thanks to his summer 2000. 2018 smash, Welcome to the Party. It's all organic, you know what I'm saying? It's regular life, what I go through every day, you know? I just express it on a beat. 
Musician and songwriter Adam Schlesinger died on April 1, 2020 from COVID-19 complications, Variety reported. He was 52 years old. Schlesinger released his first album with Fountains of Wayne in 1996. Seven years later, the band nabbed its first Grammy nominations, Best Pop Performance by a Group and Best New Artist, with the smash hit Stacy's Mom. Schlesinger was also acclaimed for his scores and soundtracks, earning awards for songs written in That Thing You Do, John Waters' Cry Baby, and Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, a musical comedy series for which he wrote more than 150 original songs. Wallace Roney died on March 31, 2020 from coronavirus complications, the New York Times reported. The jazz trumpeter was 59. Roney was tutored by none other than the legendary Miles Davis, the first trumpeter Davis agreed to mentor after watching Roney perform in a Davis tribute at Radio City Music Hall in 1983. The pair remained close and performed together in 1991, just months before Davis's own passing. Actor Logan Williams died on April 2, 2020, at just 16 years old, exactly a week shy of his 17th birthday. The New York Post reported that the actor died of a fentanyl overdose. Williams played a young Barry Allen on the CW hit The Flash and also appeared in Whispers, Supernatural, and Wang Calls the Heart. My 600-pound life star James King died on April 3, 2020. He was 49 years old. While it was initially speculated that King may have passed away from coronavirus complications, his family told TMZ that King's heart failed after he fell ill in early February 2020, and that his liver and kidneys were also failing due to his weight. King previously battled other health issues, including cirrhosis of the liver and sepsis. He lived in Kentucky, but was transferred to a hospital in Nashville, Tennessee that was better equipped to care for him. Model and rapper China died on April 8, 2020, from an accidental drug overdose, People reported. She was 25 years old. China, born China Rogers, began modeling at age 14. Later, she developed a passion for hip hop and told Pitchfork that ASAP Yams, a rapper producer from the ASAP Mob, mentored her until his own death from a drug overdose in 2015. By 2016, China was struggling with opiate addiction. She explained to Pitchfork that she hid her struggle from her fans before getting help. Comedian Vic Henley died on April 6, 2020, at 57 years old after suffering a pulmonary embolism days earlier, his niece announced on Facebook. Henley was a regular on television, with credits including The Tonight Show and Gotham Comedy Live. Numerous other comedians expressed their sadness at the sudden loss of the funny man, including Adam Sandler, Jim Gaffigan, Leslie Jones, and Mike Birbiglia. Tavares Jackson, a former quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks and Minnesota Vikings, died on April 12, 2020, when he lost control of his 2012 Camaro and struck a tree near Montgomery, Alabama, ESPN reported. He was just 36 years old. Jackson was a Montgomery native. He attended Tennessee State University before signing with the Minnesota Vikings in 2006. Jackson signed with the Seattle Seahawks as a free agent in 2011, then went to the Buffalo Bills in 2012 before returning to the Seahawks in 2013. Playboy model Ashley Mattingly died by an apparent suicide on April 15, 2020, TMZ reported. Mattingly struggled with alcohol abuse for years, but had moved to Austin, Texas to be closer to her supportive family. Unfortunately, coronavirus isolation apparently exacerbated her difficulties, and days before her death, Mattingly posted a video on Instagram from a hospital bed claiming that she'd vomited blood after drinking too much. The model was 33 years old. Ashley Ms. Minnie Ross died on April 27, 2020, after a hit-and-run accident. The Little Women Atlanta star was just 34 years old. Ross, who was born with dwarfism, had appeared on the Lifetime reality series since 2016. Entertainment Weekly reported that Ross was hospitalized late April 26, 2020, after a crash in South Fulton, Georgia, and ultimately succumbed to her injuries. Falling in reverse guitarist Derek Jones's death was reported on April 21, 2020. According to People, he was 35. A cause of death was not immediately revealed. Jones's bandmate Ronnie Radke announced the news on social media in a series of tributes to his late friend. Jones and Radke started Falling in Reverse in 2011, releasing their first album, The Drug in Me Is You, the same year. The metalcore band recorded seven albums. Former He Is Legend and Bludgeon guitarist and drummer Mackenzie Bell died on April 26, 2020, at 35 years old. According to an obituary published by Wilmington Funeral and Cremation, Bell's death was the, quote, indirect result of his snowboarding accident in 2018. The North Carolina native had previously used Instagram to document his gradual and arduous recovery from the accident. 
Grammy-winning gospel singer Troy Sneed died from coronavirus complications at a Jacksonville, Florida hospital on April 28, 2020, the AP reported. He was 52 years old. Sneed appeared in the Whitney Houston and Denzel Washington film The Preacher's Wife and released numerous solo albums, seven of which hit the Billboard Top Gospel Albums chart and two singles, Work It Out and My Heart Says Yes, which each peaked at number two, according to People. Former Oakland Athletics pitcher and Real Housewives of Orange County star Matt Keough died from a pulmonary embolism on May 1st, 2020. He was 64 years old. Matt had baseball in his blood. His father was Major League Baseball star Marty Keough. Matt pitched for the Oakland A's for seven seasons and also played for the St. Louis Cardinals, Chicago Cubs, Houston Astros, and New York Yankees. He was named 1978 All-Star Rookie of the Year, 1980 American League Comeback Player of the Year, and covered sports illustrated with three of his Oakland teammates in 1981. Singer Katie Groves died on May 2, 2020, at just 30 years old. EW reports that Groves died as a result of chronic alcohol abuse. The Kansas native released her first EP, A Month of Sundays, in 2009, followed by The Life of a Pirate a year later. She released her first major label album, This Little Girl, on RCA Records in 2012. Katie toured with the likes of Good Charlotte, LMFAO, All Time Low, and Third Eye Blind. Music executive Andre Harrell died from heart failure on May 7, 2020, at 59 years old, the New York Times reported. Harrell worked with numerous hip-hop artists from the 1980s until the end of his life, including Russell Simmons, Mary J. Blige, and Diddy. In 1995, Harrell was named CEO of Motown Records. R&B singer Betty Wright died on May 10, 2020, following a battle with cancer, TMZ reported. She was 66 years old. Born Bessie Regina Morris in Miami in 1953, Wright had her biggest hit in 1971 when she was just 18 years old with Clean Up Woman, a hit that would later be sampled by Africa Bambata and Sublime. Known for her whistle register vocals, Wright's other chart successes included Where is the Love, Tonight is the Night, and Mother Wit. YouTube star Corey LeBerry died in a car crash on May 10, 2020, his 25th birthday. He was a passenger in a car with Ink Master star Daniel Silva, who was hospitalized for non-life-threatening injuries. Silva was later arrested for murder in connection with LeBerry's death, TMZ reported. Law enforcement sources reportedly told the site that the inebriated Silva intentionally crashed LeBerry's passenger side of the vehicle into a tree. Silva has denied the claims. Gregory Tyree Boyce and his girlfriend Natalie Adepoju were found dead in Las Vegas on May 13, 2020. He was 30 years old, she was 27. People reports that Boyce and Adepoju both died of accidental drug overdoses from cocaine and fentanyl. Boyce was most famous for his role of Tyler Crowley in Twilight. His only other acting credit is a short from 2018 called Apocalypse. Hana Kimura died on May 23, 2020. The professional wrestler and reality star was only 22 years old when she took her own life, the Japan Times reported. Kimura was a second-generation pro wrestler, daughter of Kyoko Kimura, and wrestled for World Wonder Ring Stardom, winning the 2019 Fighting Spirit Award. Kimura starred in Fuji television reality series Terrace House, where she endured abusive messages from fans after on-screen conflicts. Cyberbullying is thought to have played a prominent role in her decision to end her life. Chris Truesdale, a former member of boy band Dream Street, died on June 2, 2020, in a Burbank, California hospital from coronavirus complications, TMZ reported. Following successes in pop music and television, Truesdale appeared in a touring production of Les Miserables before starring in a Broadway run of the legendary musical. The performer was just 34 years old. Disney Latin America star Sebastian Atier died on July 4, 2020, at just 24 years old. A rep told People that Atier suffered a sudden heart attack. For three seasons, Atier starred in the Disney Channel Latin America series O11CE, which centered around teenagers attending an elite soccer academy. Us Weekly reports that in addition to acting, Atier also had a budding music career and loved traveling. Rising beauty influencer Ethan, Ethan is Supreme Peters, died on September 6, 2020. Peters was just 17 years old. The Texas native had a rapidly growing following of more than 500,000 Instagram followers and 140,000 YouTube subscribers, and was known for his makeup tutorials and transformations, People reported. Prior to his cosmetic and style influencing, he created the Betch Meme Instagram account, racking up 1.3 million followers before selling it for $25,000 when he was only 13 years old. 
old. Tragically, Peter's father Gerald and best friend Ava Louise each claim that Peter succumbed to an opioid drug overdose. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call or chat online with the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, please call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration's 24-7 National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. That's 1-800-662-4357.